my first move first i'm going to check out the girl like head to toe because she has to like be lit from head to toe uh, then if it's worth it i'm going to go after her doctor okay first move is when you approach a girl approach a girl when you see that she's pretty or something before she approaches you i could just if i see a fine girl i could just walk up to her and um try to start up a convo uh i know i'm supposed to make my first move when the girl is fine she dresses nicely and she's neat obviously and then looks approachable some girls are not approachable I don't think so. I don't trust guys these days. No, no, no. Okay. Me. No, no. Is there any need for that? No, I do not. I can make my first move by myself. Okay. And <laughs> that a girl sure. For a guy to know that she is interested. The way she replies messages, hmm? That one is an example. Like she tends to show more interest. If you understand what I mean. And she tends to like explain what she means. You just feel the you get conversations elevate when she falls in love. That's a line from a song by Rick Ross and Miguel. <laughs> Another one. Um, okay, she she literally she um, she always checks up. Okay, not always, but she's like more eager. Some people try to be hard, hard, hard guy, hard guy. So they will want to. It depends. It depends on how girl you're dealing with. So just hope that you get lucky. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Should be. How would I put it? I think it depends. Or there are some kind. There are some kind of girls that will be like, I would like um, me if I'm interested in a guy. Me, I will shoot though. Hmm. I will shoot my gun. I will try because he must notice me. Hmm. He has to. He just has to notice me. I don't know. <laughs> You know that's what this be. But some people shy, you know some people they like for me and other shit. But me, I'm not that kind of person, so you know. The conversation. When someone is interested in you, you will know definitely. Her answers, how fast, her attitude, if eventually she's going to give her number out. You're going to know. Should you you know? And then you should smile and then she smiles back. <laughs> then you should just try it and then if if you smile at her and then she doesn't smile back i don't know like if you just just chill should i be an open book of mysterious on the first date mm. no i should not because um if you kind of if you're mysterious on the first date the girl wouldn't feel comfortable so you should just try and be plain come out being yourself if not you might just tend to lose this girl i think it should be an open book because me i don't like serere i don't like serere i like i just like being plain that's just the truth okay um it depends if the vibe is strong if it's if it's good hmm? if you like the guy it's fine you can try to be an open book you guys can because by like then you discover that you guys have depth you understand just not shallow shallow small talk because personally i don't like small talk so uh -huh, at least you guys tend to know each other more i don't know i can't talk without doing my hand thing okay <laughs> okay <laughs> hey wait i'm not done i'm not done i'm not done okay i'm finished I feel like it should be like 50 50. Because if you're trying to be an open book, you probably talk too much. Yeah. You talk too much. And then if you're trying to hide 
your personality away is too much. You're also trying, you're going to make everything boy. So you just have to know how to maintain both parts. Wow, it's, 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 it's best, it's just straight, so why be mysterious? Open. Uh, reason is, it's leading somewhere, it's the first date, it's definitely going to lead to something, so I feel like you should be open. Apparently, it doesn't matter. Everybody did relationship now, but you would, um, you would have hope, if you really like what you see, you would have hope that um, she might leave her boyfriend for you, but you wouldn't want that to happen to you. Nah, I mean, you guys are not married, so... Well, um, let the guy with the best, um... Move, win. Move, win. Yes, it matters, because girls of these days, once they are together, they will just want to, you know, um, have an opinion and most girls are uncomfortable when their friends are around they wouldn't want to do exactly everything they would have done without their friends so yeah it matters i would prefer she's alone well it doesn't really matter if she's with friends or if she's alone i mean if she's if she interests me whether she's with friend or, or she's alone okay we can talk to her that uh, doesn't matter it doesn't matter because i know who i'm looking for so even the friend, even if the friend is there or not, doesn't really change anything. I'm still going to go for what I want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. What matters is when you actually decide to make your first move. I'll be myself. Uh, there is this. Uh, there is this um, thing with bringing your A game in every situation. Because if you put your A game and she likes you, I mean, there is this thing with bringing your A game in every situation. You can be all real and she likes the ugly voice and you, you're lucky. Well, you know, if you don't know me, I have to too shop, you know. Oh, she, yes, now, you got fresh up small now, but it's not just going to be all... I would be myself, but you know, do you understand? <laughs> I'd rather be myself. <laughs> I'll be myself. Why would I change? <laughs> I'll be myself. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it like a man now. I'll take it like a guy. Then I walk out. Walk away. Stay all cool. Um, when she blows me off, I'll just be dumbfounded. I wouldn't. She might not even know that I am really. You're crazy. You mean crazy? Like you know, crazy on the bed, or something. <laughs> oh, you mean by somebody they're all mad? Which one? The ones that can't get enough of you even when you've let them go. Keep calling and all that. That's crazy. Can be defined as an ex that doesn't want to leave you alone. She's an ex, she knows she's you know she knows you guys are not dating, but she still bugs you, she still uh, comes to your place without your information, she still Trying to know who you're hanging out with and stuff. You know that a crazy ex is that is crazy. Somebody that the person here is not together. The person can be extra. The person can. The person can go as low as stalking people that you have started meeting, new people that you have started meeting. I think that, that's a that's a crazy ex. I don't know. Um. Stalker. Yeah. Crazy as stalker. Uh, trying to get family involved. It's not cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Should I be should I be real here? <laughs> Am I ugly? <laughs> I don't know as much as 
I go out. Yes, as long as I go out, I get one or two. But sometimes they are really, really yucky, I beg. Well, not really. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't think people should count. It should just, well, but I'm just, I mean, Luna, I'm a free person. <laughs> Um, depending on the kind of guy, if you have guilt conscience, then you'll be really scared. But the thing is, girls, once they tell you, we need to talk, like, hey, we need to talk, it shows that at that moment, you have done something either wrong or right. And it's very rare for you to do right something. So you just know that it's wrong and she's pissed at you. Because... You know men are always doing bad things, so <laughs> so they probably get scared. They they they, also, they they always know that they can get into trouble anytime soon because they keep doing stupid things like sleeping with their girlfriends, friends, and all that. So it's not quick to to be known. Come on, she has probably seen him doing something wrong. Right? I know it's it's. That, that that line is just to one in to one in line. All I see are tables. <laughs> Some I want sex. Many of them still want sex. Good sex. I can't. If we are walking. Don't hold me. <laughs> Other things. So, if you're cheating on me, you should be able to tell your side chick that, man, that's my baby girl. You know, you know, tell them that I have this girl or another kind of thing, you know. So, when they see me, they don't want to come and tell me, eh, or your boyfriend is fucking me or something like that. Because me, I won't take that one. Me, I feel break the seal, though. But you see, respect. When it's time for bae, it's time for bae. When it's time for side chick, it's time for side chick. Give bae what belongs to bae. Give side chick what belongs to side chick. Grab, uh, you know, when, when everybody's there, just as a f form of, you know, ownership. <laughs> <laughs>